Good morning, folks. We're going to get weird today. We do have the sun, weather, and top science news as always, but we also have some unusual sites and events and a website worth noting. Starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, we find that the last 24 hours on the sun were mostly quiet, except for that pop on the south. It's what we showed in a slower sequence in red at the opening, and now the pop does not appear to have done much to release plasma ejecta, but it's a smaller version of the sort of activity at sunspot regions that will be producing larger solar eruptions as the sunspot cycle gears up, which, remember, takes about 6 to 18 months. Solar wind regained some mild telemetry peaks that it had eased back from slightly yesterday. With it being a moderate stream, the KP index response is visible, but minimal. Well, folks, the flood and wind outbreaks, those were the key items delivered by the dual low system tearing through the United States. While the leading twin is former tropical storm Cristobal II coming off the Rockies delivered more of the intense weather last night as it caught the energy flows in from the south. Convergence line here moving through the east over the next 24 hours. Up first in the links today... Weather Channel covering the Nightmare Rainbow. It's somehow sort of pretty at first, and then you realize what it actually is. Rain, flooding, and two decades of improper trash disposal in Lagos there. Staying with the unusual coverage, we jump back to the missing money, the $21 trillion. We had suggested some clandestine geophysical missions, and here you can learn how the missing funds might be five times higher, over $100 trillion. This is beyond larceny. They're preparing for something major. Now hold that thought as we come to the site of an ancient Roman city, but that's about all we know about it for now. Without digging one handful of dirt, they were able to use ground-penetrating radar, just like in the opening scene of the first Jurassic Park movie. But instead of a velociraptor, they found a city, which is not only cool, but it is the less scary thing they found under the ground in Europe recently. This, hopefully, either is a mistake or a million years in the making. Volcano development at a magma bubble beneath Europe, right where Germany, Belgium, and the Netherlands meet. There could be a massive future eruption piecing itself together. Okay, you still holding that thought? Well, boy, this seems like a promising start to a website, doesn't it? What is this website calling for something that likely rings nicely in the observer's ears and eyes? Then we scroll down and things immediately begin to deteriorate. Folks, this is indeed the official UN's New World Order Agenda 2030 site out in plain sight, and rebranded as the push to 10 billion happy people, which by the way means these are not the Georgia Guidestone elites, these are the we want 10 billion cattle elites, under the guise of happiness in their new mode of world government, Happitalism, which is basically communism but making sure you are just satisfied enough not to revolt back against your masters, I mean elected leaders, I mean con artists, you get the idea. UNNWO.org. You throw down your cards after the river, as the showdown begins. Anyway, by far the top science point made by anyone yesterday came from Dr. Pierre-Marie Robitaille. After deconstructing the WMAP CMB data, he's now gone on to Planck, and this one actually seems a shied sight worse. The short version of the story is this. The color here is mismatched data in the runs. Black is where the data is accurate over time, but for those who don't see a lot of sky maps, the black area is just the Milky Way galaxy. Nothing else is useful from this CMB Planck data. His video is linked below. His channel is Sky Scholar. And last but not least, a fitting cherry on this weird Wednesday. If you had told me that the bombshell discovery of magnetic fields and plasma turbulence dominating over gravity in star-forming clouds and near the galactic center would also be applied to explaining the super-electron energies during a space shockwave, I might have said you were being a bit ambitious, and I'd have been wrong. Magnetic fields and plasma turbulence still waiting for something in space they can't do with enough time. Folks, good news. The pre-orders are out and the third edition of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun is back. Spaceweathernews.com slash publications. And for those in the United States, you can get free shipping on your copy with the code Media Mail. Just know it's coming Media Mail so the code overrules any other shipping choice you may have made. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.